everybody. It's Wednesday the 21st of July 2021 and it is currently 6.05 in the morning. I am standing at the end of my road because I'm waiting for a taxi to take me to the train station because today I'm off to London. I'm going to see Joseph and the Emerson Technicolor Dreamcoat this afternoon and then I'm off to see Hairspray tonight. <laughs> I was meant to be seeing Cinderella but it's cancelled indefinitely, so I'm off to see Hairspray. Here is a single room at Strand Palace. So I've got this lovely big mirror there. Is it going to focus? I don't know. Oh, come on, focus. I want to put a light on. Yeah, here's a lovely big mirror above my beautiful single bed. Dump my stuff already, just slightly. Phone, a little bedside light. Look at this bathroom. Oh wow, I love this. Nice big mirror in the bathroom, which I love. Nice sink and towels. The shower looks immense. And we have a toilet, more towels. I've got a TV over here with a complimentary bottle of water, which I'm so taking because it is boiling today biscuits and tea. I drank it. I've got a little wardrobe here. That's cool. And I've got an ironing board, hangers, plenty of space, a safe. Let's see if I've got a view out the window. I don't think I have, to be fair. It's probably just a London street. Oh, or somebody's apartments. Wow. <gasps> Can you imagine living up there? I don't know if you can see because the window's filthy, but there's like a whole garden thing going on. And I am literally just off the main street, guys. <sighs> right, I need to freshen up, get sorted, because I am meeting for the very first time Kelly, who... Oh, I'll take my mask off, actually. I'm meeting Kelly, and I've, met, I've never, ever met Kelly before. Um, we've been Instagram and like social media friends. We had a little girls only support group on Instagram last year which kind of fizzled into nout. But she's amazing and she's on her way to come and meet me. Ah, I'm here, I'm in London. This hotel is so nice. Oh wow, 
I just love it. I love it. I mean, look at that chair and that table. It's so cool. For a single room, this is luxury. How cute is this do not disturb sign here at the Strand Palace? Look at the little dog dressed like a beef eater. Honestly, I won't be needing this, but it is cute and I kind of wish I could steal it. So I've tried to straighten my hair. I've put a little bit of eye makeup on. Um, just some eyeshadow and mascara. I have tried to put makeup on as well, but look at me, like, it's gonna melt off. I need to factor 50 up the rest of my body, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and film like, sort of like a hotel tour bit, in addition to what I'm doing with the room, cause it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I'll just finish getting ready now. Now what was really good when I checked in is I was supposed to pay £20 for early check-in because check-in was not till 3. However, the receptionist said that I could check in early. Back and up along here. This is so cool guys, I didn't know this was here. Look, there's like original show posters for Avenue Q in London. <gasps> Look at it all. <gasps> Cats at the New London. And then keep going down here. This is where you would come for Joe Allen's. Look, it's about the deep regret during Covid. Mr. Producer, I have that on DVD. And you've got a chest poster. I can't see who that is because I'm a midget. Or oh, that one. London Palladium, I'm going there shortly. It's got Oliver there, look. There's uh, Jonathan Price's Fagin. And you're my girl. Fascinating Aida. This is so cool. Look at that. Lindsay Hately. Oh, well, if that's not a sign, uh, Broadway's biggest fat hit musical. And Phantom of the Opera. I like this. This is cool. So that's the entrance to Jet Arms. There's the main lift where I should have come out. Reception area. This is the restaurant area and bar. This is cool. Gin Palace, I like the sound of that. Oh, look at this. How stunning is this? From that drawing, it got made. That is so cool. And then you have reception over there with a the really big seating area. So coming out of the hotel here, you have the Savoy, where a pretty woman is. Like you go down there, it's the hotel and the theatre, which is pretty cool. Grand Palace, man. Leon 
anything better than hairspray? Hairspray, woo! That's me! And me! And Kelly! And Hello. Kelly's here! <laughs> we've just been chatting and catching up because obviously we've Actually. never met. No! Until now. We've met online, by the way. Like, you haven't just. Yeah, yeah. So you're not just some random I've picked up. I am really. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool walking past where I'm going to be tonight. Oh. Or, it is, isn't it? Oh god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. We're off to the theatre cafe now. This one is going to really grab a lot. Oh my god. I love it. I'm not going to put it up. I'm just going to bubble it up and I'm going to eat some And this is my drink. There it is in blue. Oh my god, look. Stop it. Stop it. It's blue. Oh, thank you. And then <laughs> add this in. Oh, look! It's gone for blue and pink. Wow. So, yeah, we've come to the Alchemist. Kelly's got Welcome her cocktail. To... Oh my god, the bubbly one. Welcome it's really cool. This is the, the dome. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got mine here. Oh my god. Gotta give these a try. How is it, Kelly? It's great, but I'm a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking my time. Let's give my one that's still steaming. Oh my god. Mm, so good. We've ordered food as well, so I'll show you that when it comes. Food's here. Look at Kelly's Bow Burger bun. Stop it now. Oh. So She's nice. got regular fries. I've got sweet potato fries. And look at this. This is my fajita. I have to make it myself. I just want to eat it. Here I am. I'm at Joseph. Time to go in. Ooh. Look at it. Look at that! Anna! Say to Cool! This is my view from the stage, guys. The safety curtain's up at the minute, but... Look! I'm here! I'm in the London Palladium again! I'm so excited for Jason! And yes! I have bought a programme. No regrets. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Welcome. Take a seat. There's toilets downstairs. There's toilets over there as well. Thank you. Get some photos. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh my God. Kelly. Oh, by the way, guys, Joe's here. Hi, Joe. Hello. <laughs> So I've come to an exclusive bloggers event with Joe. Um, that's oh, his plus you. one. All thanks to him, as he says. I'm a bloggle. Yes. <laughs> he is. And um, yeah, it, we're sitting in the brand new theatre cafe, which is just opening, and it's incredible. Like what they're doing. Is this not open? No. So having a look around. There's some theatre cafe stuff there. There's posters. Just singing. But look at all these posters from the shows and the cars. This is incredible. What do you think of it, Joe? 
Is lunch. This is Joey's takeover. <laughs> I don't even vlog anymore, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. This is cool, a little flip up. Is it focusing? No. We're in the theatre cafe. Downstairs? I mean, it's just toilets down there. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. It's not just toilets. Um, you've got stagey toilets, but also there's a great photo opportunity. So uh, go down, get your stagey selfie, tag us, tell the world, and uh, welcome back! Woo! This is really cool. On the way down to the toilets, I've got a load of show mugs. And there's like a mirror down there. It's really cool. Here we are at the London Coliseum. This is our view from the seats. <laughs> I thought we were on the wrong level because there was such a massive car. And Joe's very impressed with this view. <laughs> I can't wait. Can you imagine sitting there? Oh my God. No, you because like... you can't see anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so massive. I've never been in this theatre before. Look at the roof. Ooh, I love the rotunda. This theatre is massive. It is. It's very massive. But it's not focusing on you. You're all blurry. There we go. This potentially might be one of my favourite theatres. So far, we've seen a notice in the theatre saying that tonight the performance of Velma will be played by the understudy Laurie Haley Fox, who usually plays the female authority figure. So there's a swing on for Laurie in that role. And then, quite sad, I've come on a night where Dermot is not the male authority figure. Um, it's Chris Howell. Good evening Howell. and welcome to the London Coliseum. Oh. We kindly ask you to keep your masks on at all times inside the theatre and please respect social distancing Yes, rules. Joe. <laughs> the house is now open. How can you respect social distancing rules when it's full capacity so people will be sitting next to us? I don't know, darling. It is a bit weird. He Maybe was, they need to change that announcement slightly. Who is going to be um, the female authority figure? Uh, Amy West who is phenomenal. I've seen her in other shows. She's really good. She'll be hilarious. That she basically be. plays Penny's mum, the gym teacher. The um, jail woman. Yeah, the jail woman. She's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Interval time. What did you think of that, Joe? It's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. It's really, really good. Loving Laurie Haley Fox as Velma. She's phenomenal.
phenomenal tonight. Thank you for being so calm and collected. <laughs> <in the game. laughs> Listening out to the ushers and all of that. I, I am the adult in charge this evening. Um, and so I just have to remind you to leave carefully and, you know, be, you know. You we know, you you know, know for goodness sake. You're not a football crowd. <laughs> hotel room I've had a shower and I'm ready in my M&S Mickey pajamas ready for bed and I just thought I'd do a recap of the shows today and my thoughts because I just literally plodded on and on and on so Joseph let's start with that one I did like some bits of Joseph and other parts I didn't I think the way they've changed the narrator the role of the narrator I don't like that. I mean, Alexandra Burke was a good singer uh, as a narrator, but you could tell with some of the comedy that she couldn't really pull that off 100%. And he knew when it was a Sheridan Smith moment because clearly they changed the role of the narrator around Sheridan Smith when she was in it like two years ago. Um, and I just think, Sheridan's not in it anymore, like, they had time, couldn't they have just changed it and tweaked it so it would suit, like, Alexandra, suit Lindsay, perhaps. Um, so, yeah, the, rate, yeah, the role of the narrator was good, Alexandra was really good. Jack Yarrow, wow, I literally loved his Joseph, he was great. So amazing, like... Yeah, he, he's really good. Um, Jason Donovan, it was nice to have him in it as a throwback to, obviously, 30 years ago. He was all right as the pharaoh. He hasn't quite got the vocalness 100%. Um, but he was okay. And But his song, The Pharaoh's Dream, was one of my favourite scenes in the whole show. Like, you know, the statues were moving and the dancing... The whole cast, the ensemble, were also really good. Um, I thought it was interesting that they had four of the kids acting as the brothers. Like, that's new to me. And having a kid act as Potiphar. Wasn't so keen on Alexandra playing Jacob. Like, And again, Mott. There were two other kids playing the butler and the baker, like, you can tell why they've cut corners there and, like, not casting adult performers. And I was just a bit like, eh. Oh, and Alexandra played Mrs. Potiphar as well, and I just thought, no. Like, the scene with Mrs. Potiphar, the costumes that the ensemble girls are wearing, it reminded me of the Bill Kenwright, Mrs. Potiphar, like, can-can dancer type costume, and I was just like, oh, no, that bit just looked a bit cheap. Um, and there's a bit where Alexandra's wrestling on, with Jack under a bear skin and you could just tell that Sheridan probably milked that for all it was worth and to be honest you didn't really know what Alexandra was doing under there um, but yeah it was nice to see it like I saw the Bill Kenwright production once when I was 11 and then I was I was raised on the Palladium tour. The Palladium version toured in the mid 90s and I saw it in Blackpool and Manchester with Alla Jones and Darren Day. Um, but seeing this new version, it some of it was really good and other pits I was a bit like meh. So that was my thoughts on Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And then we move on to Hairspray. And oh my god, it is so good to have this show back in the West End. It should never ever have left in the first place. We had, like I said earlier, understudy for Velma, which meant we had the understudy for the female authority figure because whoever's female authority figure is cover for Velma. 
and Dermot Canavan was off and I know Dermy quite well so I was a bit worried when I didn't see him on and I don't know what's happened to him but Chris Howell was a pretty good faff like not a faff not a female authority he's a math he's a male authority figure um Lizzie Beer wow she was incredible um loved her from the get-go Michael Ball, what can you say? He is Edna Turnblad, he just is. He's really good at it. Les Dennis, meh. I saw him on the first UK tour of Hairspray back in 2010, 2011, and I wasn't 100% sold then, and I feel like he's got older and not necessarily better. Um, he's all right, but, you know, <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. I was just a bit like, what? I'm hoping I'll get to go see Dermot play Wilbur in, in September, fingers crossed with all being well, um, but we shall see on that. Uh, who else have we got? Marisha, Marisha I was kind of disappointed by. She has a big showstopper of a number in Act 2, I Know Where I've Been. Every time I've seen Hairspray and that song comes on, I get shivers down my spine with who's singing it and the mood of the song. And I was thinking about 101 other things during that song. Marisha, for me, she's a good singer, but she seemed too Effie. Like, I know she was in Dreamgirls as Effie White. And it just, felt, I just felt a little bit like I was watching Effie and not Motormouth Maybell up there. So that was a little bit disappointing. Like, she can sing. She has a slightly different twerk on things. And her acting was really good, like I can't fault her acting. She was really good with the guy playing Seaweed and Inez and everyone else. But her singing, I was a bit, little bit left like wanting more. Um, the girl playing Amber, I forgot her name, I will write it down here. She also was really good, but it also felt like a time she was really pushing and really trying hard to get the comedy and I think if she just relaxed a little bit more and let it flow like it would come across a lot more high school bitch um, but she was a phenomenal singer like mama I'm a big girl now and yeah she's I loved her she was amazing uh, Penny the girl playing Penny again I will insert names here her, she worked really well with Seaweed, she's another one with an incredible voice. The guy playing Seaweed was incredible, like wow. And again, Johnny Amis. If he, if you told me he was a teen heartthrob back in the 60s, I'd be like, really? Okay. Um, he was doing some weird ending to his lines in It Takes Two, the song It Takes Two. And I was a bit like, what's he doing? Like... I don't know, it was just weird the way he was doing it. And I was like, no, just no. Um, so yeah, again, there were good bits and bad bits. And also, because I'm such a geek, a hairspray geek, I noticed that Tammy's costume for nicest kids in town and that, it's different to how it was 10 years ago, 11 years ago. All the other costumes, I believe are the same but they've changed the colour on Tammy's dress because back then it was like a pinky colour with yellow and blue flowers and now it's all purple and dark coloured. She looks like Haunted Mansion now whereas before she was a bit more bright and a bit more I don't know retro 60s like I don't know but yeah she I, I just kept thinking she's like Haunted Mansion Tammy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I loved it. I loved all the songs. I think Joe really enjoyed himself as well. It was his first professional, like, proper production, I think. No, he'd seen it on the Leicester Curve tour, but he hadn't seen the original London production. Um, he was blown away by this production tonight. I just loved it, and it's like, oh, oh, keep hairspray. Please, can we keep hairspray somewhere? It needs to stay. So... Generally, today has been a phenomenal day, like, it's been busy, like, I met Kelly for the first time in real life, I met up with Jo, I got to see two shows, I've eaten food at The Alchemist, I've eaten food at Bella Italia, it's all been really good, I got to go to a blogger event, thanks to Jo, though Kelly was also offering to take me as a plus one, 
um, to see the theatre cafe um, as it's about to reopen and it's been remodelled and there's new bits and things and I can't wait to be visiting that again a bit more often. It's incredible and you guys are in for such a treat if you do come to London and you want to go to the theatre cafe. It's really, really good. I really wish I'd tried the freak shakes that they have. They've got six freak shakes. They've got Heather's freak shakes, milkshakes, oh, and smoothies, smoothies as well. Oh, it's, it's just brilliant. I've, I've had a really brilliant day. Um, and this is where I'm going to actually end the vlog today i don't want to vlog tomorrow because i feel i may be crying tomorrow with excitement and happiness um tomorrow i'm going to london zoo with sam and i haven't seen sam for three years and she is one of my absolute besties like she's been there for me a lot and i don't always i'm not always the best person at messaging back or even sending a message like, I don't think a lot of people heard from me for most of lockdown, uh, as I think most of us sort of lost touch with people, but I can always pick up a text and it doesn't matter how long it's been, it's like we've, we're still constantly talking and I just want to spend the day with Sam, like catching up properly, having some fun and some laughs, so we're doing London Zoo, we're having a moochy mooch around London, it's, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you have, like, what's been your favourite bit about this vlog. Um, and, yeah, give me a like. I will hopefully see you very, very soon. Bye!